I'm Sir Tap Tap, and welcome to Let's Play Flat Heroes! We have these games provided by the developer. This is an early access, super minimalist, uh, local multiplayer focused game, but it does have some single player stuff, so let's play this Waves mode, which is uh, greater likened it a bit to uh, Super Meat Boy. Uh, somewhat. It's like little tiny levels. And I really love the aesthetics of this. We got. It, it's kind of like. Um, N++ taken to like an almost parody level extreme, but it actually it's, it still looks really like stylish. I don't mean that in like a bad way. I, uh, oop, dead. The game has a lot of style. It is an early access, I'm not 100% sure what it's missing. I should have looked. Yeah. A, a lot of early access games, like, it's hard to tell whether it's like one of those early access games. It's like, wow, I can't believe this is early access. And then on some you're like, oh, I can totally believe this is early access. Uh, I've been lucky enough to find mostly the former, um, but I, I kind of tend to just, as a rule, I don't tend to check out too much early access stuff in fear that it may in fact be, you know, the oh, it's early access. But uh, I played, I don't know, 20 minutes, half hour of this to uh, try it out, and I rather like it. I don't have, all right. You gotta hold to uh, continue to the next thingy. Uh, the controls are very nicely designed, meant for co-op though, so... Uh, they feel a teeny bit strange in the single player mode, but it's not really a huge ordeal. Ow. Um, I don't have somebody with me to... Uh oh Yeah, that was bad. Um, to try out the co-op stuff, or the, the verses. But uh, the game does have bots, so I can still show you basically everything. Oop. I'm very glad they didn't kill me. So the game starts off with uh, a seeming lack of modes, but as you play a few rounds of uh, basically any mode, you start to unlock things. What? What? Oh. Oh, I see. Oh, and there's an air dash, if you can see. So there's, there's a few controls that don't really make... That, it depends on what wave you're playing. But, um... There's some things you can do, like if you get a certain item, you can shoot. Um, we'll see that in the versus mode. Um, come on. We can do the sort of deflection move, which blocks certain types of projectiles. I'm not sure if it blocks these ones or not. It blocks the red ones. Yeah, I think that... It's a lot safer to just let things block you. Like, oh, pff. I was trying to show it off, and as you can see, it's a little dangerous to try to... Yeah, see? There you go. See, that, that wave will counter anything, like within, you know, that radius. Pretty tight. It has a very short cooldown, but uh, it's still pretty risky to use, especially since in versus mode, usually you'll be using it against people who have the exact same, you know, attack radius. So it, it's a very quick and intense game with the multiplayer stuff. The waves mode, um, it's all right. It's a bit like, it's like, it's kind of like an appetizer, I would say. Um, I'll, I'll be definitely be showing off. Oh, right. The competitive stuff, it's just, um, it'll be with bots, so it'll be, you know, maybe not be quite as crazy, or, you know, bots never have quite the personality that real people do. And sometimes they're too good, sometimes they're bad, too bad, sometimes they're, you know, oh, So you gotta be really good with your timing on that, otherwise you'll be safer to just, oh gosh, to, uh, just actually get out of the way. But it feels good when you do it right, so I tried to do that. We'll just finish up this set of waves, and then we'll check out one of each mode. I might unlock a mode as I go in, and you can unlock different palettes too, uh, which is a pretty nice touch. Um, something that Flat Design has a real a nice benefit is that... Uh... Well, that was an easy one. Um, can I change palettes between levels? But yeah, since, since the art's minimalist and usually one color per thing, it's really easy with just, you know, a swap of a palette to... Uh, Make an interesting change, huh? Oh! Interesting. I guess that's a tutorial for something more significant to come. Also, some really nice animation stuff going on. So the box tries to catch you and then... Okay, I see. I see how this goes. This also reminds me slightly of Inverses, another game which... Uh, Local multiplayer focused minimalistic boxy thing, but at the same time very different. But yeah, I'll, I'll be playing that at a later date. 
Or maybe today. I don't know. I have a lot of Steam games to get to. What is this? Oh. <laughs> I like when games... Like, a lot of Nintendo games do this, and a lot of people, like, don't necessarily notice. But they sort of introduce you to new concepts in a very safe way. So, like, in the first level of Mario 1-1, um, there's a pit between two little st sets of stairs. And the first time that you see that pit, um, it's basically, it's impossible to die, because there's no, like, there's just blocks in the bottom of the pit. You can't die. Um, then immediately afterwards, there's a pit with, you know, death. So, you'll know what to do in the pit, but if you fail the first time, you know, it's not a big deal. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. See, this game's kind of doing that sort of thing, where it introduces you to the concept safely. You'll find that's fairly common. Once you know that's a thing, you'll start to notice it everywhere. Uh, it's a pretty basic foundation of, you know, wordless tutorials, you might say. What is this? All right, these. Oh, I think they changed these since I last played. The game is in early access, like I said. These, these didn't used to, like, heat up, so to speak. There was just a certain time limit, and then they would die. I rather like the time limit, because, like... It's very obvious when they're going to expire now. It uh, wasn't before. I'm not sure how many waves each level or world has, so to speak. The orange edges are death. That's what the little wavy bits means. Also, pretty de decent music in this. Some of the levels are fairly trivial if you just time your uh, block, right? right? I think... It's a face! Hello, Mr. Face. Oh, God. Oh, and it's actually very important that that tutorial taught you you could hit those things through the, uh, you know, through ground. So, you know, it's a very safe way, well, fairly safe way, to clear some of these. And I think that meter around there is telling you how many enemies are left. Yeah, around... If you look around the 13, you'll see that meter. It shrinks up as I uh, defeat the enemies. So yeah, your, your wave's over when you defeat everything. It's not like a time limit. Though, I mean, some of them are timed. You know, the ones that are like groups of lasers. But if you can defeat an enemy, it uh, it's just based on defeating all of them. All right. If I remember correctly, the ending is at level 15, maybe? Yeah, I'll just show one set of waves. Boop. Oh. Oh. I see. I see. Oh, frick. Okay, you gotta make that transition real fast, huh? Alright, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm- oh. Whew. Okay. Is it boss time? Oh yes it is! Boss fight. Alright, let's see what we do with the boss. What is it? I like that you can sort of wobble around at the start, just... Just to give you something to f do and fidget. What is this? Hi? You wanna be my friend? Do you wanna be my friend? He wants to be my friend. What is this? What is this? Are you... Oh! Uh-oh. Is it gonna do bad things now? It's gonna do bad things. I'm not sure if you can... I think those just expire over time. Okay, that's interesting. It's not quite how the last boss worked. The last boss was kind of one of those bosses that you just had to let let it do its attack pattern then until it runs out of steam. Alright, so it's Donkey Kong. It's actually kind of easier than the first boss, at least so far. Still got one more wave, though. Hmm. Uh-oh. Okay, wow. No. Oh. There you go. Okay, it's a little iffy in that last one. But the first boss just kind of charges around the room, and uh, you just gotta dodge it enough times. I'm not even sure if you have to attack it. I did attack it, but it's like... It, I think it lost its, like... Like, the other boss had these rings, too, and it just kind of lost the rings as it collided into obstacles. 
It's one of those bosses that, you know, it's like a charging bull and you just gotta make it mash into things that are not you, hopefully. Oof. The only scary part of this is this once you've used your air dash. You're a lot less safe once the air dash has been used. Okay, there we go. Dead. Got a lot of balls coming in here. <clears throat> All right, that is wave two. So new load, new mode unlocked. Catch. I'm not entirely sure what that icon thing is suggesting me to do, but uh, let's just go play it. So all, all the different modes are, except for the waves mode, everything is competitive. So yeah, how many waves do we got? And I kind of like how the game, you unlock more of the game just by, you know, playing it. It keeps you focused, you know, you play the basic stuff uh, first in your first playthrough. And here's the palettes. You just press the uh, left button, right button. I like pretty much all the palettes. I'm liking... I'm liking this one. Um... Looks like a Windows logo. Uh, let's play catch. Medium, sure. Uh, add AI. Let's display two AIs. Give. Nope. What the? What did it do? Aw, oh, crap. Okay. Okay, which one am I again? Okay, I'm the yellow. I was, like, very confused. Okay. Ah! You're, the color that you, like, each controller is changes with each palette, obviously. No! Okay, I'm really bad at this one. Okay. Ah, oh, frick! Oh, and that square means whoever's winning. Yeah, they only have to get one more. What? I swear I did the freaking dash jump. Ah. Oh. Okay, so I'm super bad at catch. Also, I don't believe there's an AI- or is there an AI difficulty setting? New palette unlocked. Prototype 5. I think those- I think prototype may just mean, you know, they haven't named them yet. Options. Oh, I haven't- lock palette, music volume. Uh, some basic options. Version 4.4. Four. Um, not really a huge fan of catch. Um, so battle is sort of the basic multiplayer mode. Kind of like that one. Uh, let's try a small map. Um, for AI, sure. I think all AI are equal. Like I don't think, I don't think there's a difficulty settings. At least not yet. Oh dang, that is really small. That is like. Wow, okay. Wait, which one am I? Th th that's why you might want to lock palette if you're not, like, paying too much attention. Okay, so I'm the green one. Okay, the, the small is, like, much smaller than I was expecting. Okay, wow. So, basically we just want to kill each other. You know, video games. And this is the mode where I, I said, like, it everybody has the same attack pattern. So it's pretty ow. It's pretty intense with your timing. Oh, black one. Alright, I, I don't think I want to play a small map anymore. That that kind of gives me a headache. Alright. Dang it, black. Alright, let's try... Medium. And... Let's just do two AI. Four is getting pretty hectic. Nice! I don't think you get extra kills for multi-kills. Or like, extra points, rather. <laughs> oh, you do! Dealt with times two, apparently. They just gotta be really close together. Like, not... Like, not just a kill streak, but like... Ow. Ow. Hmm. Uh-huh. I thought it was still invincible. 
Oh, right, yeah. So, of course, there's some spawn protection, so don't do what I just did. Don't do what Donnie Don't does. Yes! Just barely. Up. Once again, I try to go after somebody with spawn protection, because I'm smart. Up! Oh, you're smart, you're loyal. Oh, gun! It's video game, so you have to have gun. Wait. Wait, I thought that was a gun. Oh, did I did I paint everybody's like what? Okay, in different in a different game mode, that is a gun, and you get to shoot people with it. Because uh, you know this is a video game, so of course it has a gun. Uh, I don't I don't know what that just did aside from make everybody else hard to see. It's like they couldn't control themselves, but it also makes it me stand out. So I'm not entirely sure the intent behind that power up. That's the battle mode. That's kind of your more standard mode. Zones is kind of your king of the hill. I'm also not really sure the conditions under which things unlock. You just, they just kind of go. I, I, it's entirely likely I'm missing a couple of modes. But yeah, let's play some runner. Uh, two AI seems like a nice sweet spot. I'm playing with controller, but uh, this does support keyboard too. So for multiplayer, you'd probably want um, at least one controller. I'm not sure if you can do multiple people on a keyboard. Some games do that, but usually not super common. So in this mode, um, whoever whoever's like the the king of the hill um, doesn't have a gun, and everybody else does, and you constantly accrue points uh, while you have you know while you're the king of the hill. But everybody, you know, everybody else is way more lethal than you. So he's kind of got to hide. Oops. <laughs> and the AI is kind of exploitable in that if you're in a corner, they usually take a few seconds before they decide, hey, I'm going to go. All right. I always forget that I have the gun because I... This is the mode the AIs, I would say, are probably the worst at. They're pretty good at the basic battle mode. Um, very good at the catch mode. That or I'm just not used to it, but... Uh... When you have that ring around you, that means you have bullets, and it, once it fills up, you have more bullets, etc. They're not aggressive enough, like, they don't- oh, there you go. They're not aggressive enough, I say, as he comes to kill me, but they don't- they don't really close in. Alright, there we go. It's a nice use of slow-mo. A nice animation stuff in general. Flat design kind of makes it easy to do a lot of really good animation, so it's good to see that uh, that fact taken advantage of to its fullest. So that's Runner. Let's play Zones. Zones. Well, I was saying King of the Hill before, but this is the real King of the Hill mode. Wait, let me change palettes. All right. Uh, no. There we go. Keep things fresh. Yeah, it's a good one. All right. Oh, and you can clear scores any time in case you need to, you know, change players or whatever. So this one, strangely, is not about beating each other to death. This one is about just, you know, being the king of the hill. Um, you do want to beat other people to death if they're in the hill as well and they have, you know, a higher score than you. But if they're in the hill as well and you don't have a higher score, it's not as big of an issue. Oh. I want to just be there and chill and be like, kill everybody that comes close. Alright! Power up! What? Wait, what? Oh! I thought- I thought this thing was the zone! Ah, oh, That's actually a little confusing. Whatever. I mean, it's not that confusing, I just... You know, I wasn't familiar with this happening at all. Because the zone has a little change in color in the background to it, so it's pretty clear. So there's lots of different power-ups. I. I usually saw, until now, I usually saw the gun power-up. I actually didn't realize there were all these different power-ups, so I thought it was just the guns. Up, oh, slow time. I guess if you had to speed up, you gotta have the slowdown. Why are you getting out of the zone? Why would you do this? Under what circumstances would you consider that a good idea? Oh, whatever, AI. Ha! <laughs> nice! I get zero points for that, but whatever. Get wrecked! Oh. Whatever, though. 
Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, and you can kind of... You can use your body as an attack if you do the attack while doing a sort of dash. Huh? Oh, dang. Reverse gravity, that's cool. Oh, come on, I only need two more seconds. Chill out. Oh, come on, one more second! Screw off. Wait, how do I even... I guess the walls, but yeah, oh! There you go! <laughs> Take that, computer. Shboop. Alright. Let's see if we unlocked anything. I think it was like a couple of rounds that I unlocked stuff last time. Nope. Well, I've won everything else. Let's try to win a catch. A big one. And let's change the palette one more time. So it's got a little bit of a halo effect going on. All right, yeah, I think I think I'm in my sweet spot with two AI. It's four. It gets it gets pretty hectic. All right. Oh, <laughs> of course I was headed in the exact wrong direction. Huh? So the walls are death apparently. Oh, you gotta. Damn it. Okay, so you don't just touch it. You gotta use your attack on it. How do you even... what? Wait, how do we get up there? How do we get up there? <laughs> I only almost got up there because of the... I don't think you can get up there with all these walls, dude. I, I mean, I could because of that guy, like, bumped me up, but no, I don't... I don't think this level is designed to be play, played like this. No, I, I, you need... No, this, this level doesn't work. Uh, chalk it up to early access, I guess. Yeah, that, that level doesn't work. Um, uh, let's not do a big level after all. This is a silly place. All right, medium. Sure. <laughs> that was interesting. I wonder if the number of walls that are death deadly is random and like they just didn't expect that to be a problem, or like, you know, didn't test for it. Hmm. It seems a little random considering where... Damn it. You might be sig if it's low on the map, you might be significantly closer to the thing than anyone else. I guess over time, that randomness would be less significant, but still. It seems like maybe it shouldn't spawn on the lower half of the map or something. At least not, not like within w no jumps. Like it shouldn't be on the ground straight up. Okay, there we go. Alright. So it's kind of a peak that we can do. Do we unlock anything? Nope. So yeah, that is Flat Heroes. That's an early access on the steamy thing. And, um... Well, that's about it. Tap Tap, signing out.